Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Ritnika and you've reached Natural Vibrations. Today I got my hair done because I have a little video shoot coming up. But um, <clears throat> I had some time before that so I thought I would record this video all about EFT or Emotional Freedom Technique. is one of the healing modalities that I am certified in. And uh, so I just thought I'll introduce all EFT to you guys and sort of teach you the, the little points because my plan is to start doing video that you can tap along to so that you can do some healing at home. All right. So what EFT is, is basically tapping. We tap on pressure points while talking about various issues. It started by this guy in the 90s. Uh, what the deal was is based on the meridian system, you know, the meridians in our body. It's the same system uh, that the Chinese base the acupuncture and acupressure on. And as we know, acupuncture and acupressure do work. It's all about making sure you tap the, you know, you touch the right points to clear the energy blockage. What EFT talks about is that anything that is going on in your life, whether it's a physical ailment, an emotional problem, a blockage in your life, like you can't get money, etc., it's all because of a blockage within you, specifically an energy blockage between, uh, in, within you. And the idea of EFT is to find the blockage and clear it. Most of the times, the blockage has something to do with while you were growing up, your childhood stuff. And it's shocking how much the, your childhood is related to your current situation. That's what happens in therapy as well, right? When you go to regular therapy, you talk about things that happen in your past and how they affect you now. And it's pretty much the same thing, except with EFT, you're tapping on pressure points and you're talking about it in a specific manner. So you clear the issues around it. <clears throat> a little bit about how I came across EFT. Um, as you know, I had started, you know, I had, I'm a Reiki master as well. And after I had learned Reiki, I started learning a bit of shamanic healing with this guru I found, you know, he's a, you know, from the, from LA, he was visiting India and, you know, she sort of took me under, under his wing, started teaching me things. And after I learned that, I was just generally on the internet reading, I learned a lot about law of attraction and, you know, just expanding my knowledge, <coughs> excuse me. And what I learned was I found something called EFT. So... I tried to figure it out what was going on. And this was the time when um, I had a sprained ankle. And it was about a week, my ankle was still hurting. I mean, I you know, wore a crepe bandage, I put the medicine, but really not much you can do for a sprain, right? Except just make sure it gets okay eventually. I was visiting London at that time and my twin actually lives there. And uh, I tried to reach out. This was just, you know, during the time when we had just sort of like, uh, you know, after a couple of months of us breaking up, I was visiting and I just thought it'd be nice to catch up, but I got no response. Anyway, nothing big. Came back to India, my ankle was still sprained, and I just saw this video on EFT about dealing with stuff. So how EFT works is, it's like, if, not, if you have a physical ailment, we talk about what else was happening. Now you can tap on the physical symptom, like my ankle is hurting, but also talking about what else was going on in your life because all of that does affect, you know, your physical stuff. So I decided to just follow a video online and give it a try. And I started tapping on my emotions of what was going on. So I was like, okay, when did I sprain my ankle? I'm like, okay, I sprained my ankle in London. I didn't fall. I didn't trip. My you know leg didn't go any funny. It just started hurting. So I'm like, what else was going on? So, and I realized it was that I hadn't, you know, my, I thought I was okay with my twin not talking to me, but I was like, okay, let's talk about that. How did I make me feel? And I tapped along, and I'm not joking, within 10 minutes, my ankle was healed. And that's when I became a believer, and I was like, oh my God, because I don't really believe in learning and preaching anything that I have not tried. I'm kind of, you know, I don't, I'm not religious. I don't believe in stuff people tell me. I need to see the proof, you know, before I can ever do that or tell people about that. So because it works so well, I decided I wanted to learn EFT, but nobody was teaching it in India. And then of course I put out the intention unknowingly and then randomly this person from the UK was coming down and teaching it and I got enrolled and I got certified and all of that. Of course, the universe makes it happen, right? 
and I have been work and in order for me to be a certified EFT practitioner, I had to do about 50 case studies. I, you know, I had, I've been affiliated with an international body. It's like a proper thing. And EFT is so helpful that people have been using it, you know, the NHS in the UK have been using it to work with cancer patients. It has, EFT works with people with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, to help lower the issue. They've been working with the war veterans. Um, it, it is really, really effective. You know, so any of you that go for regular therapy, I would say definitely try EFT because it combines the talking therapy along with tapping on pressure points. So it's like double the fun. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sort of teach you how to, what the points are in this video, okay? So this video is just an introductory video. I'm not going to go, there's lots of different methods and different ways of de doing EFT and how to get to the root of the problem, but I can't explain everything because you need to be certified or you need to have a one-on-one -on -one session. But I'm going to show you the basic points that you can use. And then in my next video, we'll start working on certain topics like self-love and things like that, that you guys can tap along. And if you like this video and you like this concept, please do like and subscribe. So I know I should do more of these things. Okay. Okay. Now, how it works is we always start from the karate chop point. Now, before we start, let me tell you that these videos that I'm going to be posting are very general. So they will help you, but everybody's trigger point and everybody's blockage is different. So if you do want to, you know, if you do like this and it is helping you, but you want to go deeper, the best would be to book an EFT session with me so we can get to the root cause of your thing. Um, I also have a twin flame special that uses EFT to help clear blockages. All right. Anyway, let's start. We always start from the karate chop point. You know, these are the karate chop point. You can use whichever hand that works for you. We always start from here. And this is how we tap. And when we tap, the first line is always, even though I am whatever. So you can say, even though I am anxious, but I still love and accept myself. Even though I am worried about something, <laughs> but I still love and accept myself. Whatever it is, this is where we start. So the statement will always be, even though I am feeling or I am whatever, but I still love and accept myself. Then we go to above the eyebrows, right here. Then to the side of the eyes, under the eyes, under the nose, middle of the chin, and then we go to the collar point, the collarbone. You see these two collarbones sticking out? You can either do it like that, or you can do it right that. This is easier because you just hit in the middle, or you can just do right where they are, just underneath that, right there. Okay? Then we go under the arm. For all the women, it's where your bra strap is. You just, you know, sort of just hit it. For men, just sort of just underneath your, just a little bit under your armpit. You just hit it with your hand. All right? And then you can sometimes add the head. Some people use the head for even the negative stuff. I was taught to use the head only for positive because um, the head has a lot of little, little points and you don't want to enforce any negative stuff there. But either which way, this is how it works. All right, these are the points. I'm just going to go again. And then here, 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 here. and sometimes the head, all right? Now, how EFT works is we always start with the negative. The whole the amazing thing about EFT is, is that you work on, your, your, on the deep issues and you clear it. So when you, and when you start, you always, like you come to me and you'll be like, okay, I'm very nervous about this job interview, for example. So I'm gonna ask you, all right, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest, how nervous are you? And you're going to say, okay, I'm at a nine or eight or whatever. It's always good to measure. That's the only way to figure out if it's working. And I might ask you, do you feel it anywhere in your body? Do you feel it in your chest? Do you feel it? You'll be like, oh my God, I feel it in my chest. My heart is like palpitating, whatever. And then we tap. So even though I'm feeling very nervous about this job, but I still love and accept myself. And then we go and go through all the negative emotions that we're feeling. All right. Go through all of them and do a couple of rounds. And then you ask them, 
what level are you at? Are you still stressed out? And they'll be like, oh, now I'm at a six. I'm like, okay, what else are you feeling? You know, and then you go and you do it again till you're down to a zero or a one. And then you know it's worked. And then I personally like to do a positive round where I'm saying things like, I am so confident, I can do things, you know, all of that. So this is how basically how EFT works. If you want to see some references of how EFT has been useful in medical stuff and case studies and things like that that people have conducted for EFT, you can log on to my website, naturalvibrations.in. I have a link under my services page that uh, takes you to a whole list of official case studies where people have used EFT for... Uh, addictions. I, it works for great for addiction. I work with people with coke, cocaine addictions because it's all emotional. You know, it's not about the drug. So addictions, smoking, weight loss, uh, any kind of phobia that you're afraid. I've worked with people who have been afraid of going into the ocean. Uh, people with elevator fear. You know, things like that. <coughs> Physical ailments. Um, obviously, emotional issues like depression, anxiety, blockages. I think one of my first clients was somebody I worked with on Skype in the U.S. who could not make money, who was you know could not save money, who thought she could just make money, and just one or two sessions, and she started saving money. She started getting a lot more opportunities, like her income increased. These are all blockages that are in our mind, right? At the end of the day, it's all about what you can create. And you can create anything. It's just what's blocking you. So it's pretty awesome. So you can check out the case studies if you want any actual, you know, actual physical information. Or uh, stay tuned for the next video, which I hopefully will do next week, where we can tap on some topics. I think the first thing I want to start with is self-love, because I think everybody needs that. So stay tuned, and I will be in touch. Thank you. Bye.